Okay, welcome. Uh, today I want to introduce a new concurrency model uh, for Ruby 3, but it's not a fixed one. So this presentation is based on the, uh, this uh, presentation uh, talked as uh, Ruby like this year. So this proposal, uh, we, so we have two motivations. So we want to introduce, uh, improve the productivity to make uh, concurrent programs. So thread programming is, programming is very difficult. So actually, it is easy to make uh, multi-thread programs, but it is difficult to make a correct, no-bug no thread-safe program. So we want to provide some uh, great abstraction to make a pro, uh, concurrent program easily. And another one is uh, uh, improve the performance using uh, multiple uh, CPU or uh, ma many cores. So of course, your computer has many CPU, uh, computer cores, uh, CPU cores, so we need to utilize such a uh, parallel uh, computers. However, uh, Current MRI doesn't support uh, uh, thread, uh, thread, uh, parallel thread execution. So we want to provide uh, some, uh, some support for the uh, parallel ex uh, making of parallel programs. So to achieve these uh, two goals, so make, uh, improve the productivity and improve the performance by uh, parallel execution, so we introduce, uh, 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 we propose a, a new abstraction model uh, named Guild for Ruby 3. So the key idea of Guild is do not share mutable object without any, uh, without any restrictions. So this technique, uh, uh, this technique did, uh, avoid uh, deadless problem or less condition problem. So the goal of this guild is replace the thread program to the guild programming. So in other words, the, it means that the, uh, we, want to, we want to kill the threads. Okay, so today's, uh, today I want to talk about uh, why thread programming is difficult and why does guild solve, how to solve uh, these difficulties by guilds. So I, I try to talk in, uh, talk this talk in 30 minutes, but uh, there is a 70 pages, so I'm not sure how I can do that, but uh, uh, if we want to, uh, if we want to, see the long version of this talk, so please check the Ruby Kaigi talk. So, and the, please note, so this is, I, I want to repeat again, so the guild proposal is only a proposal. So it's not a promised uh, feature for Ruby 3, so specification and also the name of guild uh, can be changed. So it means that uh, we can discuss about these specification, and we can improve the, uh, the, such a support for Ruby 3. So I hope this, pro uh, this pr proposal encourages the discussion about the uh, uh, concurrency model. Maybe there are several uh, empty seats, so please sit down if you want. Okay. My name is Koichi Sasada uh, from Japan. Uh, I'm one author of uh, current virtual machines and the imp improve the uh, uh, recent uh, garbage collection changes. And also, uh, I'm an employee of Salesforce Heroku. So there is a booth of Heroku, so we can discuss, uh, please visit uh, Heroku booth, and we can discuss more about this proposal or help pro products. So at first, I want to show you some difficulty of multi-thread programming. Multi-thread programming has uh, many, many difficulties. So it's it easy to introduce 
uh, death rates and death conditions, or introduce a dead lock or a live lock. Or, uh, and also, it is difficult to debug uh, because it's the thread program, uh, thread behavior is non-deterministic. So, the, so it is difficult to find out the, which, which is the bug, and the, we cannot reproduce uh, such a bug, so very diff it is very difficult. This is because uh, the thread programming it, it depends on the timing. So maybe, it, so maybe if you have uh, experience about thread programs, so you can understand my states. And also, it is difficult to tune the performance of threads. Today, I want to focus on the uh, data race and race conditions. So I quote this program from the, this uh, great blog, blog, blog post, the race condition versus data race. This blog post this, uh, explain what is a data race and what is a uh, race condition. So if you have any question about that, so please see, please check this blog post. This program has several bugs on managed thread programs. So there are no uh, bugs on the uh, serial execution, so without any managed setting. But uh, this uh, bank amount transfer program has issues. So bank amount transfer program is a very traditional example for the uh, parallel execution or concurrent execution. So maybe you can understand what the, this uh, program do. So can you understand the issues? Okay. So the first one is the data race. So these two lines have the data race issues. I don't explain what is the problem, but uh, this is a problem. Also, uh, another, another one is uh, uh, less condition bugs. So combination of these two lines cause a uh, uh, problem. So the, uh, the balance of uh, source, um, source account can be uh, under flow. So if you can't find the, these bugs, so you shouldn't do the multi programs. Anyway, so the solution of the so to to make a uh, thread safe program, so we need to synchronize all of uh, all of these methods. So using the mute, uh, mutual exclusion, mutex, or uh, such a uh, thread exclusive method. So difficulty of such a multi thread program. Is, uh, so it is easy to introduce uh, 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 the mutual shared uh, states between uh, threads. So we need to synchronize such a uh, sharing mutual mu mutable objects correctly. So correctly, so completeness is uh, the, uh, the problem. So we need to make a, so we we, sh we need to lock or some other synchronization for any shared states. But uh, using Ruby's threads, so it is easy to make uh, multi state programs, and it is easy to introduce uh, such a shared object. But it is difficult to recognize which object, which data is shared or not. So we can track uh, on a small program. So I mean that uh, only 100 Ruby source code, it is easy to see the uh, all of the program. So we can, we can check the, oh, this data is a uh, sh shared one, and uh, this, is, this string is not shared. So we can understand easily. However, it's difficult to track on the big program. Maybe you, you, to us, you, you are writing some latest applications or some, you, some uh, production application, and maybe it, will be, it should be big applications. Also, 
such a big application depends on as an external library uh, uh, provided by RubyGems. So we need to understand everything. So everything means uh, uh, we need to understand so the library is thread safe or not. And this method or this data is shared or not shared, isolated or not isolated. So we need to understand everything or believe the uh, library's document and so on. But uh, uh, it's not usually, I, I believe, but uh, sometimes uh, documents uh, say lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> should we, uh, so, there it, it, so it is a hard way to, I, I think it is a hard way. So I show you the, some difficulty about uh, mass set programs. So I want to overcome such a difficulty. We want to overcome the, this uh, difficulty. So the, we, can, we can understand that uh, uh, the problem of difficulty is come, one, uh, one reason of difficulty is come from the easy to share the mutable objects. So with Ruby, it is easy to write uh, our thread programs uh, and we can easy to share the, any objects. So the idea to overcome such a pro, uh, difficulty, so idea is to not all share mutable objects without any restrictions. So we can study from the other languages or other uh, environment, parallel environments. So consider that uh, uh, every, copy everything if there is no problem because we, so we don't share the, pro, uh, the data. So, for example, shell script can uh, pass the data with pipe, and the all of data is not shared. So every data uh, is uh, copied to other process. But to copy everything is too slow, and also uh, prohibit mutable objects. So some functional languages, such as uh, 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 Haskell or OCaml and uh, Erlang or Elixir, Excel, uh, so such a language prohibits the mutate of, uh, of uh, data. That's, uh, it introduces a uh, huge incompatibility. So maybe you got angry if we say that, so Ruby 3 can't uh, insert any instance variable. It is huge incompatibility, so it's not acceptable. And the other language, so racket programming language, you can uh, allow to share the immutable object. However, we want to share other kind of objects. And the, another approach is to prohibit, uh, to require uh, the, uh, some uh, special protocol to mutate the objects. So closure language, they, they can, uh, they uh, provide some mutable object, but mut using mutable object, we need to use and uh, transaction. But uh, uh, if we introduce a such a transaction for each mutable uh, mutation operations, so it is also the uh, incompatibility. So we have some uh, examples. Ah, uh, so note that uh, we, we do, uh, I do not list uh, uh, using approach to uh, using uh, type system like last. So starting from the, this language, we, have a, we, we can pick up the, some ideas. So we set the goal of uh, Ruby 3. So we need to keep compatibility with Ruby 2. So compatibility is very difficult, uh, important. Also, we, can make, we, can, we should make a parallel program and we, should, we shouldn't care about the rocks anymore. It is very hard to make us uh, thread safe programs. And we can share, we should share object with copy, but copy operation should be fast. And we should share immutable objects if we can, and we can provide special data objects to share mutable objects like uh, closure. So normal object 
normal shared object, uh, so, sorry, normal mutual, mutual objects can be allowed, uh, but uh, if you, you want to share between the concurrent abstractions, then we need to introduce several uh, protocols. So we name such a, uh, so we, so to, uh, to achieve these goals, we, pro we proposed the guilds. So guilds, so we can have uh, at least one guild as a uh, uh, interpreter uh, booted, after booted. And uh, we can make uh, another guild and the guild can have uh, uh, several threads. And the uh, threads beyond, uh, so thread, uh, t thread T1 and thread T2 is belong, uh, thread T1 and thread T2 belong to uh, guild G1, and they cannot run in parallel, but uh, uh, thread T3 belong to another guild, so we can run uh, thread T1 or thread T2 and uh, thread T3 now in parallel. And the most important rule is uh, uh, mutable object have a membership. All of mutable objects should belong to only one guild ex exclusively. So it means that uh, uh, Objects cannot have uh, several guilds membership. So this is because uh, guilds is not community. So they cannot belong to another guild. And the uh, guild cannot touch the objects belong to other guilds. So guild two cannot touch the objects belong to guild one. So only one guild can access to the, the mutable objects. So we don't need to consider uh, logs anymore. Uh, of course, it's so only one thread run on the guild. But uh, uh, we need to communicate to each other between guilds. So we provide a communication path uh, called channel. So guild channel. Uh, is communication path to each other, each guild. And uh, channel provides uh, two, uh, two co uh, communication methods, copy and move. So we, we named move as a transfer membership method. So copy object is, uh, copy is very easy to understand. So if we want to copy, uh, transfer the, this object O1, then we need to we need to uh, copy everything the O1 refer to. So there is a uh, two of uh, so we we du duplicate all of objects uh, uh, traced traceable from the O1. So it is easy, I, I think. But the moving operation is not so easy. So transfer membership method try to make uh, uh, some uh, change the membership of the, each object. Uh, so all, uh, all of methods traceable from the uh, trace from O1, so O1 and O2 and O3 change the membership of the to the grid one to grid two. And uh, after that, if we touch the, uh, the old object in guild one, as uh, transferred object in guild one, it should be raised, uh, so it should, should error. So it means that, the, so we move the, the uh, object and uh, we touch, the, after that we touch uh, this object, it should be error. Or if we want to show the, uh, the, the object status, then it should be also error. So we can understand this object is transferred. So we can, so usually we can copy small objects like DLB does. So 
So sometimes we, we want to pass the parameters and the, some operation, like Alan. So, it, so such a small object, it is easy to copy. So there are no overhead. And you can move a uh, small amount of number of objects. Uh, so it means that the, uh, if you load some binary file, so some picture file, then so we can move the, uh, such a big data, big, big uh, binary data to other gu another guild without uh, any copy. And also, we allow to copy the, uh, sorry, the transfer the immutable object without any overhead. So in this case, immutable object is not a, a frozen object. So please see the uh, A2, this line. So frozen object, so array is frozen, but the, uh, the, this A2 contains uh, uh, mutable objects. So in this case, A2, array A2 is not an uh, uh, immutable object. So with, uh, uh, for the immutable objects, we can, we can only send the reference to the other gears. So it is very lightweight. And also, uh, numeric objects and so on is immutable. So we can send it without any overhead, like that. So with the girls, we can make a, a master worker type applications, and also we can make a pipeline based application. So each girl can run in parallel and uh, uh, move, move, the, move between the girls. And also we can make a bank example like that. Also, uh, we can, so if you want to make more uh, performance, so we can use uh, some uh, special data structure. So you can use uh, uh, external database or external uh, key value store or uh, introduce some software transaction memory uh, special objects. So this, this list uh, 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 comparison between the threads and guilds. So threads have several advantages. So inter-thread communication is very fast. So because, it's because we only need to pass the reference to objects. And we already know the thread programming. So there are many, many thread programming books. We can understand, we, we, know, we already know the, how to make a thread object and so on. But it is difficult, so as I said, I think it is difficult to make a correct thread safe programs. So usually I'm a C programmer and I make, I use a, I, I make a C, uh, so thread programs on C language and I understand thread program is very difficult. <laughs> also, uh, so there is a advantages and disadvantages. And the girls, at the girls, so we have uh, several disadvantages. So we need to introduce uh, uh, some overhead to, to achieve the inter guild communication. Also, we need to run this model. So we don't, so nobody knows the, about girls. And we need to make a parallel program using girls from scratch. But uh, we don't need to care about the synchronization anymore. So it is very easy, I think, I, I hope. And also, uh, move, move technique reduce the overhead of the thread, inter, -thread, inter guild communication. So I think this is a trade off between uh, performance and the safety and the easily. So it is similar to garbage collection. So garbage collection, with, uh, without garbage collection, it can be more faster. So we don't need to care about the, uh, we, we, shouldn't care, we shouldn't care about the uh, performance, performance overhead, so GC overhead. However, GC garbage collection uh, make program programmer happy because so we don't need care where where we need to free the object or something like that. So 
I'm not sure which do you like, but uh, I like garbage collection and I like guild. So anyway, uh, so by the way, so there is a many, many dis discussion about the name of guilds. So why the name is guilds? So I think the guild is good metaphor for object, object membership. And I check the duplications. So nobody using, uh, nobody using this name guilds for on the uh, computer science terminology. Maybe, I think, I hope. And there are no duplication top level classes and modules for in all Ruby gems. I check every, uh, all of source code of the, in Ruby gems. There are no guilds, module and classes. And the, 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 the most uh, important thing is the first letter is, uh, is different from other uh, similar abstraction. So P is uh, uh, for thread. P is for process. So we can't use a P and T and F for fiber. So, and uh, we can use a G, so it is an empty slot. So anyway, so there are uh, many, many difficulties to implement uh, our guilds. So how to achieve the object membership and how to implement the inter guild communication and how to design shared mutable data and how to isolate process global data. So it is a very, uh, many, very, very, uh, implementation dependent things. So I, I'll show uh, a bit of this. So copy is very easy to understand. So make a, a copy, uh, sends a copied reference. So it is easy. So moving is not so easy. So we, so actually, we make, uh, so, we, uh, so, cop uh, so after moving, so we, the original objects are uh, destroyed, and uh, we, we, sh we should cause error to, if we, uh, after, uh, we, if we touch the uh, source object after transfer. So how to implement it? The magic is making the some, uh, sh the some small copies. So it is, it is copy, but uh, it, is, it doesn't copy everything. So make, uh, some, uh, make uh, new headers of objects and refer to the, the data and send the, uh, and invalidate original objects and the sends the uh, headers. So this technique, uh, we don't need to de copy the, such a, these data. So using such a uh, moving operation, so we, we only need to uh, check, check the, uh, the membership without any, uh, any overhead. So I mean that the, uh, objects, each object shouldn't uh, know their own guilds. So guilds know the object, but each object shouldn't know the uh, guilds. So interpreter shouldn't, uh, don't need to uh, check the guilds, uh, guild ownership, uh, membership. And uh, there are many, many uh, other considerations so we to keep the uh, to keep compatibility with Ruby two. So we need we are discussing about these spe uh, detailed specifications like uh, global variables or something like that. And there is a uh, uh, several data uh, in the Ruby process. So we need to consider about that. For example, there is a, a garbage collection object space. So how to do that and so on. These uh, are performance, so preliminary performance evaluation. So there is a no uh, guild implementation, so I made uh, a guild, uh, pros, guilds in C language and uh, simulate the behavior of, of guilds. So using the guilds with uh, two, two core machines, so the Fibonacci master worker program is uh, faster than the single guild programs. 
also we evaluate the uh, uh, the moving, but the moving is very di slow because we need to check the all of uh, all of uh, all of entries of array. So with some with some optimization, we can improve the performance, uh, like the reference passing, I think. But it is not done. So this is a checklist of the goal of Ruby 3. So I think the all of the entry we so guild can pass. I'm not sure, but I hope so. <laughs> so at last, I want to show the several uh, answer and questions. <laughs> so the first question is, can we try guild now? No, I'm sorry. So implementing the uh, guild on MRI is very big project, so it, it is doesn't, it is not yet. So supporting this project by you or your company, it is very welcome. And also, uh, some guys try to implement the, this uh, guild feature on JLB, or uh, we can discuss the uh, uh, interface so interface means uh, uh, API. We can, so without uh, implementation. Also, the second pro uh, question is, uh, should we wait guild for Ruby 3? So I'm not sure. So if we make a uh, guild implementation, so we, we can introduce on 2.6 or 2.7 or 2.8 or Ruby 3. I want to implement next year, but uh, uh, I'm not sure we can do it in next year. So the next question is, can Guild replace all of the programs? No, the, the answer is no. So to ut utilize Guild, so you need to rewrite uh, your programs using threads. So it is not so easy. But I assume the 90% of program can be rewrite by Guild and uh, maybe it is enough. So Ruby pro programming language Ruby, maybe uh, it is enough for the most of the case, but not, not uh, complete. But it is okay for us, I think. So for example, we can make uh, some web application, uh, web, web server, sorry, web server using Guild because uh, moving IO objects is very easy to implement. So some, other, some guys say that, oh, it is ownership. It is, it is true. So actually, so before we name the guilds, so we say it is ownership model. But uh, uh, we name, rename it membership because guild is not an owner of objects, owner of members. Another uh, question is, Moving cause huge overhead for the big object to graph. Big object to graph means uh, some big hash table uh, refer to the other objects. So the answer is yes. We need to move all objects, and uh, it will it it become it became uh, it becomes uh, huge overhead. So we need to introduce special data structure like uh, closure or something something like that. But the people, I, I believe that people can change the, their uh, programs to fit the, this model if we provide it. And the, uh, another uh, question is, uh, can we share pro projects? So, so it is a very uh, detailed program, but a very big program on that. So the answer is we cannot share proc objects because proc object is pro proc object can rewrite the uh, uh, local variable and it it means that it is it's mutable data. So we have several options. So allow to copy the uh, proc object and bindings, uh, or move to allow the move local environment or something like that or introduce some uh, similar, pro, uh, similar uh, abstraction of proc. 
to fit Gill's model. So as I sh show, there are many, many uh, unsolved, uh, not finished problems. That's, uh, we, want to, uh, we want to try to make uh, this model for Ruby 3. So today I, I show you the why thread programming is very difficult. And I, pro I show the proposal, our proposal guild uh, for Ruby 3. Uh, so not implemented yet, but uh, I show key ideas and uh, some questions and the current answers. So this is over, so thank you so much. Mm, I, we have maybe 10 minutes to discuss. So if you have any question, so please say slowly. <laughs> so the, uh, the overhead, so you, you say that the creation overhead, right? Yes. So the overhead is uh, the, the execution time or memory consumption? Uh, Which one? Both. Both, okay. So current one is same as uh, threads. So if you, if on, your, on your computer, uh, if, we, if you make uh, uh, thousands of threads, so it is the same. And the, maybe the same, ex same creation time, I think. But we can improve the, such a performance because it, the, the current girls is uh, not fixed, so we can, we can change the specification to make it, it lightweight. But I think the creation overhead is not so, big issue because we can make a guild pool or something like that. So the question is uh, uh, how, so when the standard IO, standard input or output, so what, how about for the uh, other guilds? So good question. So maybe we need to duplicate uh, such a IO, such a standard IO. Uh, but I'm not sure we can solve everything on that. Good question. <laughs> So the question is how to, how, to, how to define the class in the other girls, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, so on the, this slide, this presentation, I skipped this point. But uh, uh, <laughs> so girls, so our first approach well, guilds is uh, guilds share. So guilds is designed to share, to share a class and modules, and uh, we can share the method object and the byte codes. So in, so such a technique it will uh, decrease the memory consumption and other uh, overhead. However, as you said, so the class object is mutable, o module object is mutable. So this is program. So this is same as the thread programming. So this is an open problem. <laughs> but I think that uh, uh, such a uh, shared, so uh, I'm sorry. So I think most of the case, class and modules are immutable or we don't, sh we don't touch uh, class definition and uh, module definitions. And, uh, but uh, it can be program, so for example, so if we use uh, old road and uh, access to the uh, constant variable in the other guilds, so it is program. So it is program in the multi environment, so it is the same problem. So for example, uh, we can support uh, some hooks, some, some new trans, trace point hooks for the uh, class road or something, some events, so we can check the uh, any modification for the, such a shared class of modules, so we can we can understand. Oh, this is a uh, this this uh, this guild violates such a uh, isolation and so on. So this is my design, but I'm not sure it is enough. So the so other option is to isolate the uh, class and modules between the uh, guilds. So it is okay, but uh, this is same, similar to the pro multi-processor or multi-virtual machine model that so we, we made before. So
So it is easy to understand. So it, they, their environments are completely isolated. But I think it, it causes many, many overhead for the memory consumption and the, the creation overhead. So it is trade off. And maybe we will make both model, so isolation model or mixing model, shared model. So we can evaluate. We want to evaluate on that. Is it okay? Okay, thank you. So it is a, a, a very preliminary design. So this, pro, so this program passes the, the program to the other guild with string. But I, th I believe it is not a good design, so we can change. But so it is a, uh, so, so please note that it is a preliminary. So on this case, so there is a, a global uh, method, Fibonacci, num Fibonacci number calculation method, and uh, the, so make a uh, child Fibonacci, uh, Fibonacci guilds. And the, each guild has a cha default channel, and using default channel, uh, we can communicate with each other. So that's a, Please do not uh, believe it is the last the design. So we can we can change the more. Uh, we can change be to better. Okay. Any other questions? So, or uh, we can discuss after this session. So, thank you so much.